Pisces, welcome to Setting Spiritually. This is going to be a general reading for information on rituals, readings, or manifestation oils, which I'm going to use my spiritual DNA oil right now. It does help enhance my readings. The link for that will be in the description box. I have rituals going on this new moon on Friday the 9th. If you want to go ahead and check that out, all of them are below $10 and they're highly effective. So let's go ahead and see what this Pisces need to know at this current time. We have Eight of Swords, Judgment, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Lover's card, Ace of Swords, and the World card. Okay, so there is something destined in your life that may have essentially run its course. This could be a cycle that needs to end so a new one can begin. If you're in a relationship or if you're just dealing with someone, um, it seems like you guys have just completed a cycle and it's important for the both of you to kind of evolve and start the new phase of the connection. If you're single though with the Eight of Swords, you're kind of like trapped in your mind or in your head or constantly overthinking. If this is not the energy of overthinking, there's something keeping you bound and stuck and you're going to have to decide about whether you're willing to let this go or continue putting work towards it possibly even shift how things are working out in whatever scenario it is, whether it's relationship, career, um, some sort of hobby endeavor, in order to get a new start from the universe. Because the universe is trying to give you some sort of new beginning. The Ace of Wands is something that will be passionate. This could be your creative outlets giving you that zest for life again, or just you are about to gain a new connection or relationship that will be destined and it will give you this Ten of Cups type of energy, especially if this is something that you've been constantly worried about, um, worried about whether you're, you're going to be single, if you're going to meet someone that will be on your level, that will happen. But just try not to stress so much out about this because there's a lot of energy of being in your head and in your mind. With the Four of Wands, this is all about home, stability, um, work ethics even. Your home at this current time may need to have some sort of shifts. This is like decluttering. Um working through any new contracts, signing new leases, and this is going to be the start of a new beginning. So just because the world is here does not mean something's ending for good. It could just be a phase of a certain aspect in your life is ending, and then it's going to start a brand new phase that will have a new clean slate. The Ace of Swords is also about truth and clarity, so you're going to be seeing the truth exactly for what it is, especially if you were uncertain about whether you can trust someone, uncertain about... Um, different paths that you can take the answers are going to be coming to you as long as you trust in the divine and you follow your heart pay attention to the red flags but the ten of cups is mostly you feeling content feeling happy there are going to be situations with family for a select few of you that is going to keep you stuck and unless you basically nip that situation in the butt in the butt and with the ten of cups this emotional fulfillment that you've been waiting for it's going to come with a choice this choice could be between staying single or pursuing something that could be a risk. The Ace of Wands can also be um, sexual energy coming back in, especially if you've been celibate, or if there's just been dry spells or, or something coming in the way, especially with stress, it could affect like your libido. Um, just go ahead and take the time out to address whatever this scenario is, and it will make things better. So if you are in a relationship and it was being affected by something externally, that is going to shift and end, and then the stability will be brought back into the relationship. Let me get another deck. That way I can get some additional messages. What does Pisces need to know at this current time? We have the Three of Pentacles. This may be the time for you to put in work. Some of you, your work is stressing you out, or it's just no longer working for you. Maybe you want something better. You want to get paid more. You have the Six of Wands, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, the Hermit card, the Fool in Reverse, Three of Swords, and the Eight of Wands in Reverse. So someone is either not talking to you or you decided to cut communication with an individual. You close out a cycle with this person. And even though it did cause you heartbreak or possibly even disappointment and pain, this was what was best for you because you were almost taking some sort of unnecessary risk without thinking things through. Others of you, this person that it, you're no longer in contact with, they're not feeling heartbroken. You're forcing them to self-reflect and look at the reasons why the connection has ended. 
And the hermit is also an energy of needing to soul search to figure out what is it that's going to actually make you happy. Because some of you have um, these wants and as soon as the opportunity is presented to you, you almost like back away or you get cold feet or you decide, you know, I don't want this anymore. Or there's just a lot of back and forth and it's important to kind of just stand true in what it is that you desire. If you are dating someone and there is no real commitment between the two of you, there may be some sort of outside interference. This could even be work getting the way get in the way of like forming something stable and grounded. And ultimately, if you have an issue with putting yourself first, you're going to have to be selfish for a while to get something accomplished. Um, because some people come in and just kind of create confusion and illusion in your life. And with the Three of Cups, it's important for you to go out and make time for yourself. Time to celebrate, go out with friends, maybe even drink a little if necessary. But with the Three of Swords, it's like you're going to be healing certain wounds that were being caused because you don't want to see the truth for what it is. Especially being a Pisces, like you're a highly intuitive sign, but either you stifle the truth with not trusting your intuition, or you simply try to just go with the flow despite things not working out in your favor, maybe feeling like it could shift or change in the future. But you kind of have to take things for face value. So if something's not making you happy, there's a reason for that. And you almost have to reevaluate why the situation is not working out and taking the necessary steps to change the scenario or the situation. Because there is no perfect dynamic. There is no perfect relationship. There's no perfect um, set in stone scenario. So sometimes you may have to make certain shifts and take time to actually be patient. So essentially what it's saying, if there's a relationship or a connection in your life that may not necessarily suit you entirely, it's like, what can you do to make things better? And if nothing can be done to, you know, make that connection better for you, is it better to just end it all all together rather than waiting it out and waiting to see how things are going to play out? Because some of you already know as is what you want. But you let yourself get confused by other people's wants and needs or by situations. And it's not really necessary for that because you already know the truth from within. You just need to listen to that voice and not silence what your heart is trying to tell you. So let me get another deck. That way I can get some additional messages for what does Pisces need to know at this point in time. We have the Hermit energy. Some of you have been feeling isolated or just isolating yourself more. The Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, and Justice. So somebody's finding out that they are better off being single or that they would just rather stay single rather than indulging in whatever these options may be with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Also watch out for communication. Some of you could be very... I don't want to say blunt, but just like too straightforward with how you're communicating with people to the point where it could be a bit hurtful or just like rushing into saying things that you may even regret in the future. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can be a bully or can be aggressive or have some sort of like sarcastic or arrogant tone. So be careful with that. Um, or you may be dealing with someone that could be in that energy, but you've racked up a lot of good karma in your life and this good karma is going to be led in by a new beginning others of you if you're not trying to get pregnant and you're in that childbearing age or if you're capable of it please be careful but the nine of pentacles is someone who is just independent single minding their own business self-care self-love self-admiration but you're doing all this by retreating from certain people in your life that just excuse me we're causing more stress in your life than anything else some of you there's a mother figure that either it causes issues or it's just a mother that misses you or a person that wants to be in your presence again. With Justice and the Magician being here, all the tools that you need to manifest what it is that you want is at your disposal. And whatever happened in the past that was unjustified to you, the scales will be balanced. So if something happened that you know you were done wrong in some form or fashion, will be fixed one way or another. So just keep doing what you're doing because you're bringing major changes to you. And these are positive changes, but you do have to kind of maintain... 
the equilibrium you you have and also just watch the way that you communicate with people and also watch certain people wanting to cause drama and conflict with you for no reason and it's because they're mad they're mad that you're stable they're mad that you're in this empress energy where you're just attracting what it is that you want whether you're male or female you could be just isolating yourself more from people staying in a lot in comparison but there is a thief around you someone wants to steal either your time your efforts your energy your position some of you there's a there's a man possibly coming in with a chair man who wants to steal your heart or someone has already done that and this is something that's concerning to you especially if you've been single for a while and you've been comfortable in that energy and someone wants to come in and cohabitate with you or to kind of blend situations um, you could be reluctant to want to invest in that because you're like i've worked so hard to get to this point of being stable like i don't want anything coming in that could jeopardize it but some of you may need to take that risk because this risk is a, a change yes but it's also going to bring great fortune into your life and this is a mature man meaning that he knows what he wants if you are a masculine energy watching you'd reverse this so it would be a female who wants to be a part of your life because they know what they want they will be heavily focused on you and this is not someone that can just be stolen away um, they, this is someone that wants to build some sort of family unit. They want a sense of community. Others of you, you've been retreating a lot more from your community or even your family to just kind of get your mind right, to get your finances in order, and to focus more on work. And don't be, it's like, don't feel guilty for doing this because obviously you're working hard for something that's going to benefit you in the long run. And when you're doing well, other, other people around you will be doing well as in addition to you. Um, so you cannot help others if you're not in a position of where you're comfortable yourself. And last but not least, what does Pisces need to know at this current time? If you've been waiting for a relationship. It's coming in. Just don't push it away. Because I feel like some of you ha are feeling the need or just due to patterns in the past, you may push away some sort of blessing that can actually bring you great fortune. Happy life. Yeah. Live a less guarded life. That's crazy because that's literally the whole theme of what we were talking about. Live a less guarded life because you've built a lot of happiness and stability around you and know that limitation is power. So if you feel limited, um, you can use that to your benefit as long as you lean into your limitations and know that whatever you deem as blockages could just be temporary. And do not be frustrated. Let go and feel peaceful. So if someone is trying to frustrate you or rile you up or, you know, fluster your feathers, don't let them. And just accept the challenges that are coming or that may be in the way because these challenges help you grow and they make you uncomfortable for a reason. Because if you're not uncomfortable, you're most likely not growing. And we have trust your inner resources and listen to the advice that you may receive from your ancestors, your guides. Guidance is needed to cross the ocean of life. So. That's the end of your reading. I hope you like it and have a good rest of your day. Bye.